literally lit up the sky. Jenny Kinlaw's house in the Silverleaf neighborhood in northwest St. Johns County was struck by lightning last summer. Our appliances got fried. This summer, more of her neighbors' homes have been hit as well. Like, I think there was like two other houses on our street and then one behind us. So they're kind of like, why are we being hit? Why are we being picked on? One neighbor even started tracking the lightning strikes that have hit houses, counting eight homes that have been hit in the last four months, all within a few blocks of each other. This is one of those lightning strikes earlier this month in that Silverleaf neighborhood. And some of the neighbors are wondering, is this a bad location for lightning or is this just an active storm season? We have thunderstorms west of it already. I took this case to meteorologist Tim Deegan. But if you look at the average, it's really been an average thunderstorm season. So if there's not extra lightning this summer, Deegan says there are other things that could be a play here. One factor, this is a brand new neighborhood, just a little more than a year old. It used to be woods and farmland. Is it simply humans are noticing what farm animals and just trees had to deal with, right? Or because it is so new, because it was so rural, there's not a lot of other commercial buildings to hit. There's not a lot of other towers to hit. So the lightning is hitting homes. Or it might have something to do with geography. Deegan says just as there is a sea breeze from the ocean, there is a light breeze from the St. Johns River. So therefore, not only would northern St. Johns County be getting thunderstorms from the sea breeze coming in from the Atlantic, but they might be getting some that form right along the west banks of the St. Johns River. It's very odd, but we finally got a surge protector because we're not going through that. In St. John's County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side. Yeah.